É só uma expulsão. Right now we're standing by the entrance of the oldest established Chinatown in the world, known as Binondo. In addition to that, this also marks the beginning of the Chinese New Year, also known as Spring Festival. And one of the best places in the Philippines to celebrate the Chinese New Year is right here. <laughs> Joining me here in this Binondo tour is another YouTube content creator known as Patoy. Hello! He's the sexiest boy in town. Oh yes. <laughs> this, con this questions my sexuality. <laughs> Binondo was uh, established around uh, 1594 as a place uh, where the Spaniards uh, put uh, the Chinese settlers of the area at the time, on the other side of the Pasig River. Since then it has developed into becoming the biggest Chinatown in the Philippines. So now we're going to Yingyi's Tea House, which is famously known for a lot of delicious food. And um, no, no, let's go. Not today, not today. During during Chinese New Year, uh, usually you want to wear red clothes. And well, I don't really have any red clothes on me, I but he has dressed up at least. Red is the symbol of luckiness. This is actually a Chinese tradition. Yeah. yeah. Burning uh, fake money? Uh, morning and afternoon. Ah. So usually what I'm told is uh, burning fake money, but this is something else? Yes. Yeah. Now the biggest mall in uh, Binondo is the Lucky Chinatown market right there. I'm not quite sure when it's built, but uh, it's, your, it's your average mall. It's, has a lot of stores. It's just that it's in Binondo, so it's usually Chinese themed. Oh my goodness, man, I've been watching this. Now, it's not really the biggest mall in Philippines, but it's quite vast. Like, and indeed, it's really Chinese themed. Like, uh, the you can buy Hopia and uh, Tikoi. Damn, they tall. <laughs> what you see here is actually a dragon and a li or two lions and one dragon. It's a common misconception that both of them are actually uh, dragons, but uh, the one with two people is actually a lion. But the long one with a lot of people holding sticks is uh, the dragon. So we've been looking around for a while now for a, <laughs> for a place to eat and every single place is just really crowded, there's a lot of uh, queues but we're now suddenly here in Lingnam Lingnam Lingnam, which uh, it means um, so yummy. something so. <laughs> uh, Yum yum yeah. And this place mostly serves noodles uh, In addition, we actually yeah. managed to team up with my girlfriend who actually has some experience with Binondo because not she's been me. living I'm here I'm not the girlfriend No <laughs> Yeah. The thing is though, there. she do not want to be on camera, at least not yet until camera I Camera shy, to... because beautiful people are camera shy. That's why I'm going to be out of this camera. <laughs> so, but she said, once I get 10,000 subscribers, I will, she will actually be on the, on the camera. That's the deal. Can we get 10,000 subscribers, Cheers everyone? Cheers for our vodka! It arrived. What is this? <laughs> Order has arrived. Chicken chicken on the Shop uh, <laughs> beef one ton lami, which is a noodle soup. And now our chicken feet and haka are arrived, which is a dim, dim sum meals. I'm going to place 
Alexei Bussi quasi hit. I'm gonna make the most authentic Mark Vian's impression. Okay. Hello guys, we are now going to try some very delicious Chinese noodles. I'm gonna have a huge scoop of this. Mm. <laughs> if you if you see Mark Vian's if you see this video, don't take offense, it's just it's, it's just a uh, friendly banter, okay? <laughs> Let's try the hakao, which is mostly just a uh, shrimp dumpling. And this. And then. Uh, mm. How's the hakao? You can never go wrong with Chinese food, in my opinion. I mean, uh, at least dim sum. <laughs> and this is a chicken feet. For those of you who never tried chicken feet, you should definitely try it, actually. Because. The meat is so much more tender than anywhere else on the chicken. Mm, so tender. It's actually so tender that the meat just melts in your mouth. So you, you so your, yeah. So the bones just kind of goes off the meat and then you can just spit them out. So now me and Max and my girlfriend has gotten some milk tea. Well deserved. What a funny guy. There's like a ton of people here, it's really difficult to get through, but we're, now we're on the way to see the dancing lions and uh, dragons. Woohoo! Dancing lion! Yeah, wait. There's so much people there right now. It's very difficult to get a good shot. We're actually trying to wait now for a good spot to uh, get a good uh, shot of the lion. <laughs> I really hope that it will come all the way here. Oh no, they turn around. Yes. them.
Só mais por si. I felt like I was going to get stepped over even if I was on top. What? I felt like I was going to get crushed. <laughs> oh. That was a little bit scary actually. Yeah. We were just in a stampede. We, we didn't die. But it was still a little bit scary because everyone was, uh, you know, squeezing each other. And I actually feared I would step over someone. And there was a lot of children in there. So please be careful next time. Calm your uh, nerves a little bit. I think we will not get any of that, but there are actually two. If you want 200 pesos, yeah, risk your life for trying to get those electrical wires. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I feel like one slipper will be stuck up there someday, or very soon. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations! In addition, uh, we lost Bad Toy, so we we're trying to look for him. He says he should be somewhere over at. Uh, or at the Plaza Ruiz. We better get up because the forest has got the stampede for candy. Ooh, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh my goodness, we were involved in a stampede. Actually. The stampede the, Yeah, there was, a stamp, there was a stampede over there. Now this is the first time uh, the new mayor is actually in uh, Binondo Parade. And he kind of has a celebrity status. So a lot of people came here just to see him. And that's why there's just so much people here who got crazy whenever the vehicle with him was in. So that was the, why there was almost a stampede. Or there was actually a stampede because, you know, there was a lot of pushing. Ate is selling fortune plan. Oh, fortune plan. Only... Which one is most uh, lucky? This one. This one brings most luck? Yes. These are? Money tree. It brings you happy. Oh, a money tree? The gr girl's money. money. How many pesos a month? Uh, One thousand. One thousand pesos. Woo! Okay, how much? 75. 75. So for 60 peso, the uh, tower, yeah, you get uh, 1,000 pesos a month. Why don't you keep it? Then you will get 1,000 pesos a month. I want to spread it. Ah, okay. How's my back? It's okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. By the way, straight outside the uh, Lucky Chinatown, yeah, there's a street food stall right here, so look at all of that. All from Chinese to Filipino to well. It's also so humid here. Uh, for every minute, I probably sweated one liter of water. Uh, this Chinese New Year is the year of the rat, and my zodiac actually falls under the year of the rat. So, hooray, it's my year! But I heard uh, different, uh, like different information. Some say that uh, if it's your zodiac year, it's good luck, but others say it's bad luck. So I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Time to say goodbye, my friend. Uh, I don't wanna say goodbye. He has to go right now. But I had a really nice day, and it was really good with you. I'm really thankful that you came uh, and contributed with this because without you, I would probably not have been able to make this video. I'm very thankful, and of course, you're a fun, funny guy. Also, uh, I hope to make future videos with you. And uh, of course, this day was uh, ahead of a crazy day. With Stampy, but also a lot of nice celebration, and I hope, I pray that this Chinese New Year will actually bring me good luck for both of us. 
Uh, please check out Vato's video too. He will actually make a video too. I don't know when it will be out. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, of course. But I'm the one who's need more subscribe because you are more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So 10,000 road to 10,000 subscribers. Yes. Happy, happy, happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> well, that took a while to get home. I think we were stuck in one and a half hour of traffic and. The jeep the driver was a little bit driving too fast, but we're here safely, finally. I don't know how much I've been sweating, but my entire t-shirt was soaked in sweat. Uh, there's a the thing uh, saying that in uh, Chinese New Year or throughout the festival, you should not wash yourself or else you clean off the good luck, but I don't think me smelling bad will bring any good luck. So one thing I wanted to mention is that I actually planned to go to Sinurog in Cebu, but because the all happened, I thought that helping the people were more urgent. So. But I still kind of got a very good consolidation price, which was uh, Chinese New Year, and I just absolutely loved it. Uh, minus the stampede, that was a little bit scary. I was actually hoping that we could try out more food in Binondo, but we didn't really have much time for that, and the queues were just way too long. But don't worry, because we already have a lot of material of me trying out some of the food in Binondo, and uh, the f video is not finished, so we will probably fulfill it before I go home eventually. Also, I want to thank uh, Batoy or Bats very well, uh, very much for just giving me the support and confidence for finally being able to vlog in public because that's one of the things that really I have struggled with. That's why you have had these videos where I am just doing a cheap voiceover most of the time. But that structure will not be any that will not happen anymore. So of course check out his channel. His video should be up and subscribe to my channel of course. Subscribe to his channel. Check out my other videos. I think the entire screen I was covered in videos but Make, let me just get it out. Now it's time for me to shower and once again, have a happy Chinese New Year, my rats. See you in the next video.